Chapin School. For over 70 years, it functioned as a co-ed institution, thriving on academic excellence and character. But at the turn of the century, the behavior of the boy population of the school became alarmingly disruptive and counterproductive. And so, after many meetings and discussions, the decision was made. Chapin was to become an all-girls school. The boys were asked to leave. Unfortunately, time would reveal that the girls' behavior was no different than that of the boys. All hopes for the school ever returning to normal depended on just three exiled students. Man, I hate my new school. You hate your new school. I'm in Catholic school. They slap us every time we get a question wrong. Yeah, I know. Shaping was really fun. I mean, we got to do whatever we wanted. Yeah, and we took it too far. That's why they kicked us out. <sighs> Guys, listen. I think I have a plan. There might be a way to get back into the school. Micah, there is no way in. It's an all-girls school. That's exactly what my plan's about. Boys. <laughs> I have to go in front of the honor council. Again. What's that, the third time this month? I went twice. You know, I kind of miss having guys around. Yeah, they were so stupid they made us laugh. <laughs> yeah, well, ever since the boys have been kicked out, we can get away with murder. Yep. See you later. <laughs> hey, go easy on those lockers. Yeah, but I used to get away with stuff that I'm getting in trouble for now. Well, there's nothing we can do. Chapman's an all-girls school. This will never work. Yeah, they're gonna recognize us right off the bat. It's okay, guys. I, I've checked it in with the admissions people. I registered online. Everything will be fine. I don't understand it. I thought eliminating the boys would eliminate the problem. It's even worse now. Maybe these three new applicants who are coming today will help to calm the girls down a little bit. Maybe they'll be able to break up some of the clips that have formed. Their credentials are exemplary. They're here. Excuse me, I have to get some tour guides for new students. So proud of you, ladies. I, I feel ridiculous. Say that in your girl voice. Okay. I feel ridiculous. Oh You don't seem interested. Why should I help? Just so I can get in trouble again? Yeah, come on, Ashley. Yeah, you might even make a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pinnacle, does this count as community service? Because if it does, then I'm extremely interested. Let me see. I don't know. It doesn't say. So let me look into that one. Whoever's interested, come with me. Thank God. Thank God. Those social Those studies. studies. What are our names on the applications? Oh, don't they make up You're Maxine, I'm Michelle, and this is Andrea. Simple as that. Mr. Pinnacle will be with you shortly. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Welcome to Chief and Girls School. I am Mr. Pinnacle, headmaster of this fine establishment. Hello, Mr. Pinwheel. I'm Michelle. This is Andrea, and this is Maxine. These fine young ladies will be your tour guides and help you get acclimated to the school. In other words, they're going to show you around and get you acclimated to this school. Uh. <laughs>
straight out. There's something kind of familiar about these girls. I'm not sure they even are girls. Ew, what do you mean? I mean, take a closer look at them. Yeah, their voices are always changing all the time. And they know everything about the school. Do you really even think they're girls? <laughs> girls, what happened to our new students? They're in there fixing themselves up. Well, be sure you get them out and keep along moving. They need to get back to class, and so do you! <laughs> Let's see if we can trick them into revealing who they really are. Cool. Anybody got any ideas? Shh, they're coming. Hi, guys. We're ready to receive the tour. This used to be a girl night school until they kicked out the guys because they were such idiots. Hey! I mean, hey, that's a Korean idea. All right. Someone want to introduce the three new students to the rest of the class for us? Duh, most of us already know who they are. Well, some of us don't, so Bailey, could you please? It's so stupid. I can't believe we're the only ones that can see through this. Well, just let them go. Mm -hmm. They'll be discovered soon enough. That's not fair! I want to get the job! Bailey gets to do everything! No, I Noni! On high turn, I can no. it! Girls, girls. Good afternoon, Mr. Pinnacle. Sit down. Mr. Poole, can't you control the class? Is this any way to set an example for our new girls? Girls? You mean them? <sighs> now you're naturally. Just because our new friends aren't very attractive doesn't mean we should pass judgment on them. Indeed, Mr. Pinnacle. Some of these girls have been so mean to us. Frankly, the behavior at the school has appalled me. I always heard that the boys were the problem at the school. <laughs> I'm afraid our girls are very well behaved here. <laughs> oh, throw that! Very funny. All of you report to my office immediately. Uh, why don't you report to your own office? Yeah, and stay there, you useless. Hey, Bailey, that's enough. I'll deal with this later. <laughs> so how'd it go? Did you guys find out? You're gonna be able to get back in or not? Well, guys, it's just as we suspected. The place is even more out of control than it ever was. The kids are treating the headmaster and teachers like dirt. Mm -hmm. There's no discipline at all. Guys, listen, just give us like one, two, maybe even three days. But I promise we will triumphantly make our way back to Chapin School! Yeah! You know what? I, I can't take this another day. Between the dress and the shoes. He's right, Micah. We're on the verge of getting discovered. I can feel it. You know what? Stifle yourself. There are so many reasons for this, for doing this. I mean, First of all, do it for me. Do it for you. And above all, do it for our gender. Yeah! yeah. Look, dudes, we're on to you. Yeah, what are you guys up to? We don't know what you're talking about. Look, jerk, we know that you're boys. <laughs> what are you doing to the new student? She didn't do anything, Mr. Pinnacle. Yeah, we're just uh, trying to get to know them better. I don't like the looks of this. My parents are going to hear about this, Mr. Pickle. You should be ashamed, Mr. Pickle. So sorry. You girls are humiliating the school. I don't know why you put up with this, Sarah. Not anymore, Taylor. If I see this kind of treatment again, especially towards our new students, you'll be automatically suspended. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why don't we just tell them they're boys? He won't believe us. He never does. Then let's pull one of their wigs off when Pinnacle's around. Let's do it to the short, fat one. I don't like that kid. Come here, I got a plan. Uh, girls? 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 Oh, 
we were we were speaking about uh, John Milton of Paradise Lost. Now Milton was an extraordinary example of that's it! That's unacceptable! Taylor, get this to pinnacle immediately! Right away. Excuse me, Mr. Bookbinder, if there's anything at all we three girls can do to help, just notify us immediately. Thank you very much, Sheila. That's a very appropriate comment. Okay, Thank thanks, you very much. Sheila. What what is with this mill these soil shoes from the table immediately? They're laden with bacteria and all kinds of ugly organisms you wouldn't even want near your face. What's the problem now? I'll tell you what the problem is, Pinnacle. These two students here, yeah, they're not girls at all. They're actually boys wearing this. Blowing idiots! What's going on here? administration is. I thought we told you boys to take off the wigs. But, hello? <laughs> <laughs> you put us in a really awkward position here. We can't exactly expel you because you aren't exactly students here. Just kick them out. You're enough trouble as it is, young Ashley. We could contact your current school and see if they'll take some disciplinary action. We don't understand. Don't change that tone with me, young lady. I mean, man. But you don't understand. We love you. Yeah, why do you think we tried so hard to get back in? But your behavior is what got you kicked out. Yeah, but now that's an old girls' school, the behavior is even worse. You know, Mr. Pinnacle, are you trying to tell me that when you were in school, there were no bad kids at all? Everything was just perfect? Yeah, it's the American way. been bad behavior in schools. It just depends on what the administration will tolerate. Miss Kinney, I'm considering making tape in a co-ed school once again. Yes! yes. <laughs> on the one condition that we will no longer tolerate bad behavior from either boy or girl. If you boys and girls really do appreciate this school as much as you've displayed these past few days, then you should not have any problem controlling your behavior. Agreed? I'm going to issue a formal invitation for all the boys to come back to school effective immediately. And so, thanks to the efforts of our three exiled students, the administration decided to once again make Chapin a co-ed school, and all the boys were offered the chance to return, except for one.